Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the audio quantize feature in Cubase 10 and I'm going to show you a little demonstration of how to use it. It's a really useful tool, so yeah, let's get into it. Before I do that though, if you're new here, then click that subscribe button below and that will help my channel out loads, so let's get into the video. Okay, so this is a little song I've been working on, it's a, it's a bit of a like punk rock song that I'll play it through. I'm just going to play this section here. You can hear the rhythm of the guitar is a, is a bit sloppy. It's not it's not perfectly in time with the drums and same with the bass as well. What you want to do if you want to put that perfectly in time with just a click of a button highlight the audio that you want to quantize so make sure you have it set to whatever your quantization needs so i'm going for eighths on this one and you want to switch this button on as well audio warp quantize on slash off make sure it's on and then click the little e and it opens up this little panel and just click quantize and watch how the audio shifts to put it perfectly in time I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see it and then click this quantize button see that slight little shift that's putting every single hit in time with um, with the apes that's set here and listen to it now and I'll do a comparison so before and after so this is with it And then this is out without it. With. It's only a very slight difference. But you can tell that it, it sounds a lot tighter. Then without. with again I mean to be honest the average listener won't be able to hear much difference but I think it's one of them subliminal things like it just it just tightens everything up and it, it makes like the overall feel of the track just sound a lot more professional but obviously the average listener is not going to hear the difference but they will on a subconscious level I think Anyway, that's it for this video. If you like this video, then click like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. I've got a few more videos planned soon, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. See you next time.